Hollywood has lost another great one, actress and singer Diane Carroll. At the spot where she received her star on the Walk of Fame, flowers and messages of condolence now honor her legacy. Carol passed away at her home here in Los Angeles this morning. And those who knew her, worked with her, and are now able to work in the industry because of her are pausing to say thank you. CBS 2's Sharon Tay is here now with a look back at the woman who did it all, right? Yeah, she, sure, she, she, she certainly did, and she was indeed remarkable. Oprah Winfrey uh, wrote in part, thanks for helping clear the path for me and so many others. Actress and choreographer Debbie Allen tweeted, Diane Carroll, you taught us so much. We are stronger, more beautiful, and risk takers because of you. More than half a century ago, Carroll made TV history when she played a widowed nurse raising a young son. Now that blazed a trail for the next two generations. Diane Carroll changed the course of television history. In 1968, she became the first African-American woman to star as someone other than a domestic worker in the groundbreaking sitcom, Julia, a role for which she won a Golden Globe. I'm colored. What color are you? I'm a Negro. Have you always been a Negro? You're just trying to be fashionable. Carol was a native New Yorker who first made it big on Broadway, breaking barriers on stage as the first black woman to win a Tony Award for Best Leading Actress in a Musical for her role in No Strings. Six kids and four rooms. She would go on to make it on the big screen. The 1974 film Claudine was her largest film role. She played a hard-working single mother of six who falls in love with a garbage man played by James Earl Jones. In the 1980s, Carol joined the long-running primetime soap opera Dynasty as diva Dominique Devereaux. I intend to have a memorable stay. The actress had a number of guest roles in TV series, I will. including Bill Cosby's A Different World, for which she received an Emmy nomination. Carol spoke proudly about her decades-long career. I'm happy and deliriously so about having had this career. Diane Carroll is survived by her daughter and two grandchildren. She was 84 years old, just a remarkable woman, indeed, very talented and left a mark in society. Very kind hearted. Can I share mm -hmm. a quick story? Definitely. Yeah. I, <laughs> your face. Yeah. I first oh met God. her when I was a senior in high uh -huh. school. Two of my friends from Cast Tech, we went to see her at the Michigan Theater in Detroit. I still don't remember how we got the money to actually get in the show, uh -huh. but we were able to meet her by chance because I was with some, oh, wow. you so know, cool. aspiring actors and the guy got us backstage and told the security guard that we were her cousins. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure she said, well, who in the heck is this? She came out to meet <laughs> us and we were just in awe and she embraced us. Do you know she set us up down front with a table, white linen, silverware, and we had steak dinner. That is the sweetest thing. Don't, with don't everyone remember else a detail, there that dude. paid. So kind of her. Wasn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. And I yes. was fortunate to meet her when I moved here in story. L.A. at Spago with her husband, Vic Damone, oh, and nice. we reconnected. But I just thought she didn't know us from, you know, anywhere. Yeah, no, Three was... little kids in Detroit, and she treated us like royalty. So. Oh, what a great so, story. Yeah. yeah. Members, yeah. as I you. said, members every detail, doesn't Thank she? you Isn't for, that great? for sure. yes. letting me share that. Okay. Sure. <laughs>